Welcome to the today's session on bearing designation. How to identify bearings by bearing number. Myself, Professor Kushani, Mechanical Engineering Department, KK Wagi Stop Engineering, Education and Research, Nasi. Learning objective of the today's session. After this session, you will be able to explain bearing designation and you will be able to identify bearings by bearing numbers. In earlier sessions, we have seen what is the purpose of bearing, what do you mean by bearing, why bearings are used and how to select the bearings. But before selecting the bearings, here we should know very well its designation and how to identify the bearing by bearing number. It's a standard component. Rolling contact bearing is a standard component. If you are going to select it, if you are going to purchase it on the market, you should know very well what does that bearing number indicates. But in today's session, we are going to learn this bearing designation and identification of bearing by bearing number. Again, here you know very well when the gears, pulleys, and the parts are mounted on the shafts to give the support to the such shafts. Rolling contact bearings are used, and there are you know the many types of rolling rolling contact bearings. Make is maybe single tip two ball bearing, taper roller bearing, then cylindrical roller bearing, conical roller bearing. In today's session, we are going to see how to identify the bearing by bearing number. Now we are in basics of bearing designation. It consists of prefix then bearing number and the suffix maybe four or five digits and before which maybe before the four or five digits may be prefix or the suffix by using alphabets the bearing basics in bearing designation it consists of prefix bearing number and suffix in bearing number again there is a basic bearing code it indicates the bearing type may be single dip through ball bearing, taper bearing and other type of bearing and it also indicates the dimension in terms of diameter and the width and the thickness in case of thrust bearing and the suffix which is related to the properties it also indicates some of the bearing components its variant and design feature of the bearing now look at this number 6203 then space 2zc3 6203 is a basic code it indicates the bearing type and the dimensions and 2zc3 is the suffix it indicates the bearing components its variant and design features in basics of bearing designation generally how bearing designation identifies the bearing designation identifies the bearing type the basic design and the dimensions and generally you will find the bearing designation we may be written in this way the first one is the prefix there may be space or non-separated from the basic, basic designation and you to introduce the basic designation then space or maybe a oblique stroke here in between and the last one is the suffix that means in bearing designation it consists of prefix basic designation and suffix may be space or may not be space or oblique stroke but here this prefix and suffix which indicates the bearing components its variant and design feature of the bearing and the basic designation may have a three to five digits and which is related to type of bearing or it identifies the type of bearing or the series which decides the bearing dimension in terms of width and the diameter outer diameter of the bearing and bore diameter of the bearing now let us see how to use this bearing designation and how to identify the bearing by bearing number. The basic designation sometimes may be four number or four digit or a five digit. Now we are this first two digit or first digit may be six, two, three, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, and you two. This first number may it indicates the type of bearing. If it's a six, you can say it's a deep groove ball bearing. If it's a two, you can say it's a self-aligning bearing. If it's a three double row angular contact bearing, if it's a 30, three zero, it's a taper roller bearing. The first digit indicates the type of bearing and many more numbers are used. I will explain later on. Then second digit or second number which indicates the bearing series. 
if it's a zero it's a extra light if it's a two it's a light series if it's a three medium series if it's a four heavy duty series as the series the number is going to increase the bearing series that means from extra light to the heavy duty which is going to change it identifies the bearing dimension that is outer diameter of the bearing width and thickness and size of the bearing or dimensions of the bearing are going to increase and automatically cost of the bearing is going to increase then the third number it's related to bore diameter if third number is 0 0 that means it's a 10 mm bore diameter if it's a 0 1 it's a 12 mm diameter if it's a 2 15 mm diameter if it's a 3 17 mm diameter but after 3 if it's a 4 and greater than 4 5 6 7 that number is multiplied by 5 you will get the bore diameter now your third number is 4 if it's multiplied by you, you will get 20 mm. If it's a 0 pi multiplied by pi, you will get 20 pi mm is the bore diameter of the bearing. Bore diameter means the diameter of the shaft. So, always that bearing we are going to fit. Then your first number and number of disease used in bearing designation. I have already explained some of the numbers. But if first number is 1, that means it's self-aligning ball bearing. If it's a 2, it's a spherical roller bearing or self-aligning ball bearing. If it's a 3, double row angular contact bearing, four double row deep groove ball bearing, five thrust ball bearing, six single row deep groove ball bearing and total is is four. Seven single row angular contact bearing, total number of digit four. If it's eight cylindrical roller thrust bearing, five digits. If it's a three taper roller bearing, I have already mentioned one earlier also. Then two spherical roller. If N, N, J, N, U's are used for cylindrical roller bearings and H, K, N, A are used for the needle boring. These are having some meanings. What do you mean by any bearings having two plunges on the outer ring and no plunges on the inner ring? NJ means bearings have two plunges on the outer ring and one plunge on one side of the inner ring. HK means drawn cup needle roller bearing with open ends. That means in this way the, the first numbers are used in bearing designation. Then the bearing dimensions which is having relation with the series or number 2 that is light series, extra light series, light series, medium series and heavy duty series. As we look at this here, for the bore diameter tail mm, the bearing designations are given 61801, 6001, 6201, 6301. 6001 means 6 is the single tip group ball bearing, 0 means the extra light series, 0 uh, now here 0, 01 it indicates the bore diameter here and bore diameter which is same that is for the 0 1 0 1 0 1 means 12 mm similarly if 0 2 0 2 it's up to 50 0 3 means 17 and after that multiplied 5 to that number but here 0 2 3 this series is going to change from extra light to light 3 means again here uh, medium 0 2 3 4 3 is the medium 4 is the heavy duty series but as the series is going to change that means bearing outer diameters are going to change this outer diameter and the width width is also going to change look at this bearing bore diameter is same that is 010101 means 12 mm but width which is going to increase and bearing outer diameter uh, bearing outer diameter is also going to increase so which is given by this extra light light medium and heavy duty series then again in bearing designation prefixes and suffixes are used and having some meanings. If it's ZZ is written that means seal dial type, if it's non-contact seal type LLBs are used, double lip contact type rubble seal LLUs are used, light contact rubble seal LLH are used. If 2RS is mentioned it stands for two rubble seals, RS stands for only one side sealed with rubber seal, C2 is used radial internal clearance less than normal, if C3 is used as a suffix. Then internal clearance greater than normal, CN is used, normal radial, internal clearance, R is used, bearing ring with rolling contact and cage assembly of separable roller bearings and mineral roller bearing. If W20 is mentioned, that means bearing with three lubrication hole in the outer ring. In this way, the prefix and the suffixes are having the meaning in bearing designation. Accordingly, you can take the meanings from these suffixes also. Now look at the, some of the examples which will help you to identify and explain the bearing designation number. Now look at this. This is the it's a escape bearings manufactured by Escape India. 
now we are 6209 is written here this is the number and how to read it this number the 6209 now it's a four digit as mentioned earlier the first digit indicate the six that means single row deep crew ball bearing as mentioned earlier then two two is the series which series zero is the extra light two is the light three is for the medium and four is for the dt but here two is the second number it's a light series and he is having a relation with outer diameter and the width of the bearing look at this then the last two digit indicates the 0 9 and if it's greater than t this number must be multiplied by pi u the 9 multiplied by pi u you will get 45 mm it's a bore diameter that means small beginner diameter here look at this bore diameter is where we are going to insert the shafts this is about the 6209 bearing in this way we can read it now take another example now here i have rapid escape catalog here for the same sKF 6203 2z oblique c3 6203 2z c3 is the bearing number how to read it and how to identify first digit is the six that means single row deep groove ball bearing then what do you mean by the two two means again light series zero three means zero three means bore diameter 17 mm i have already explained if it's a zero 1, 0, 2, 10, 12, 15, like the 0, 0. Then I have already mentioned here, here. Look at this here. You will get the idea. If it's a 0, 0, 10, 0, 1, 12, 0, 2, 15, 0, 3, 17 mm. In this case, it's a 0, 3 means bore diameter 17 mm. After that, you have to multiply it by. If it's a 4 multiplied by pi, you will get bore diameter. That means bore diameter 17 mm. But here in this designation, the 2ZC3 is used. What do you mean by 2Z and C3? 2Z means two metal seals or steel seals on both the sides here. It's not a open, it's a seal. Steel seals on both the sides. Both means this as well as back side also. Then C3 indicates the internal clearance greater than normal. And as I have already earlier, here C3 internal clearance greater than normal. If it's a C2, it's a radial internal clearance less than normal. In this way, we have to use the different suffixes here while identifying the bearing and while reading the bearing by bearing number try to understand now let us see one more example now in this bearing here again you will find here it is written here look at this here the bearing number is 6913LU again here NTN is the manufacturer of the Japan company which is mentioned on this bearing but how to read this bearing number or how to identify the bearing by bearing number the 6913 6 indicate first digit indicate the single row deep group ball bearing 9 is used because it's having a very thin section of the bearing that's why the, this number is used then 30 last two digit indicates it's greater than 3 means multiplied by 5 13 by 5 means 65 mm you will get bore diameter this bore diameter is how much 65 mm and what does mean this LU if LU or LLU are used that means double lip contact rubber seal which is use here double contact lip seal i have already mentioned here l l u double lip contact rubber seal l l u and if l l b is there that means non-contact seal type in this way we can identify we can read the bearing number thank you i have reported vivendari's book as well as the escape catalog for this uh, section thank you if you have any query you please contact me at 9890426679 or mail me at pvkushare at the rate kkwag.edu.in. Thank you. Thank you very much.